In order to compensate traveling a long distance in open world games, developers will have these new location discovered overlay UI things. I call them province titles, hence the thumbnail, a title sequence that overlays gameplay when entering a new province or region. Skyrim did a fantastic job with a fantastic score and inspired others to follow. Sea of Thieves is the style we are going to replicate today, simple letterbox effect with fade in details followed by a location name. So let's start off with the letterbox effect, for mine I created a 1920 by 200 pixel image, then made a black rectangle that didn't quite hit the bottom just yet. I applied a distortion wave effect and boom. With a brush added some extrusions that were mirrored pulling focus towards the center. Finally using a drawing tablet and a new layer drew some weird patterns that became slightly less complex as we moved towards the outside. Very artistic. Followed the same process for the bottom letterbox and exported every layer separately into PNGs. Then inside of Unity I imported all the assets and set them to be Sprite 2D and UI. Now we can create a canvas and drag in our UI elements. Also ensure that the weird light pattern things are the child object of the corresponding letterbox. Also the letterboxes should have their anchor points set to the nearest point, for example the top letterbox is anchored to the top center. Now we can open our animation window with the canvas selected, hit create and start creating the letterboxes moving in. Let's start by using the record button and move each letterbox just out of frame. Because we have a 200 pixel height on the letterbox we can move them exactly 200 pixels in the opposite direction. You should see position keyframes appear. Then we can move the animation slider forward about 2 seconds and move the letterbox back into frame. Move the slider forward another couple of seconds and reverse the process to create the letterbox exit. Now use the slider to find a good point for the entrance of the light patterns. For this we are going to do a simple crossfade by animating the color of the light pattern. We are going to simply change the alpha transparency to 0 at our start point and to 100 at our end point. Because the patterns are a child of the letterbox, we don't need to animate position. Also I'm going to let it exit frame at the end so we don't need to change anything there. Now we can create a new UI object for the text. Head to Defont to find ourselves a good font, download, import and apply it. Position it where we want the text to appear and do the crossfade effect in the animation window. Now we need to create a script to activate the animation. I've made two scripts, Discovery and Discovery Point. Discovery is going to control the canvas game object and the Discovery Point will be added to the collider in the scene to activate the animation. On discovery we simply need to use unityengine.ui, create a public variable for the text and call it location name. Then create a public function called setName carrying a string. Within that set the location name.txt to equal the text you want to display. For mine it's the word discovered followed by the text that was passed through the function. Then create a function to destroy your game object. This is simply gameObject.destroy, passing in the current game object. Now for the discovery point script. Three variables, a string for the location name, a game object for the UI game object, and finally a boolean to determine whether or not you have already played the animation. Set it to false by default. Create a function for spawning the canvas called spawn discovery UI. Instantiate the discovery UI, then get the game object and discover component. From that we can then call the set name function we made earlier and pass in our location name string. Then of course set is done to true. Next we are going to create an on trigger enter function and this is going to determine when our player has entered the zone. Create an if statement to see if the transform.tag of the entering collider is player. And of course if is done is equal to false. If so, spawn discovery UI. The code is done, now we can go back into Unity and make some changes. First add the discovery script to the canvas. Drag and drop the text game object into the location name slot. Next we are going to add an animation event at the end of our animation. Click on the event and browse for the function we made earlier called destroy UI. Rename the canvas to something more appropriate and drag it into the project folder to create a prefab. Now we can remove it from our scene. Next we are going to make our discovery point. Create a cube, increase the size to cover your entrance, then of course turn off the mesh renderer and enable is trigger on the box collider. Drag and drop the discovery point script onto the cube, set the location name to whatever you want really. Then finally drag in the old canvas prefab we made to the discovery UI slot. In order for this to work we just need to have a movable player object come into contact with the discovery point. 
I just created an FPS controller and changed the tag to player. And now we can hit play. So it's that easy to do. You can fiddle around with different animations and create a variety of effects. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tater, and I'll see you next time.